What is going on guys? It's your boy Jay Cuts the Great here. I'm back. My Diario Academia took a break. I took a break. But we're back at it again. Sorry about the delay. I am doing this on a Sunday. Uh, yesterday was kind of busy, kind of hectic. Didn't get a chance to go around and make a video. But back at it again with another My Hero Academia review. Uh, this episode is just touch all the right spots. Kind of anime lover. But I'm um, starting off. New intro. How do I feel about it? It's not the best intro, but it's it's reasonable for what it's building up to. That's how I feel. But um yeah. So pretty much episode starts off with Midoriya and All Might on the beach. Pretty much recapping what all Might said that, you know, he no longer has one for one in his system, things of that nature. He's proud of Midoriya for not getting hurt and saving Bakugo, and, and pretty much that. So then it kind of cuts to him waking up in the dorms, because he's like, you know, he had a dream and whatnot, but kind of realizing he's no longer home and everything like that, and things are slowly changing. So, it shows a snippet of everybody waking up, brushing their teeth, and you know, eating breakfast, and then going to class. Get to class, as Mr. Aizawa was there, and they were talking about the provisional licenses and things of that nature. Then, they talked about creating their ultimate moves. Honestly, deep down, I've been waiting for this episode for a long time. But, um, yeah. So... Three other teachers come in. I cannot think of their names to save my life. I really should like have their names like taped somewhere or something, but I don't know. I don't they come in talking about their special moves and how it's like people recognize a lot of heroes from their moves and things of that nature, situations, situational savings or defenses and stuff like that. So they were telling them that they're gonna have to start training. I think they said for the rest of the summer to work on their special moves. So, you know, they encourage him and everything like that. So, you know, everyone is all hyped, you know, yeah, you know, we got this, you know, plus ultra, yeah. Except for Midoriya. I wouldn't say he's not hype. It's more of a, he's like, well, I can't really do a special move because, you know, my arms are already messed up. To the point where if I do anything crazy, they're done. So, you know, he's sitting there talking to one of the teachers, thinking, you know, watching everyone do their, like, working on their special moves, getting their information from them, you know, from the teachers telling them what they might need to work on, things of that nature. And he's just, like, like, not really know what to do. Like, he's stuck a little bit. And All Might walks up. Pretty much All Might walks in, you know, asking how he's, how's everybody doing and things of that nature. And they're like, why are you like here though? Like, he's like, well, I'm still technically a teacher and everything like that. And he glances up at Midoriya and Midoriya, he was like, he's stuck. He's stuck, he can't think of anything right now. So, you know, he waits a few moments, then he actually walks up to Midoriya and pretty much tells him, you know, here's a hint, you're imitating me. That's all, he, and that's all he gave him. Like that was like the worst thing. I feel like that was the laziest thing to say to him because no one's gonna catch that at first. No one. And I understand what he's doing. He's trying to get him to think on his feet, on his own two feet. But Midori is already a thinker as is. He's, he actually overanalyzes everything. So after All Might tells him that, he walks off to everyone else. You know, gives his little advice to them and everything like that. And All Might kind of looks back at Midori and was like, you know, you have to learn, to, you know, think about this on your own and everything. I can't be a good teacher and just straight up give you the answer. So, you know, then it cuts to Midori walking to, um, what's the name of it? I think it's like the, the development department or development room or something like that for customization of their costumes and things of that nature. Then, Uraraka and Ida shows up. They're like talking about how they're gonna, you know, get their costumes adjusted and everything like that to better, better suit 
their quirks and that better, you know, I think it's that make it a little easier to figure out the ultimate move and things of that nature. So, <clears throat> Udo Raka sees Midoriya and she starts to run up to him. Next thing you know, an explosion happens and like smoke everywhere. And one of the teachers who's like in the development development room and everything, he's he's talking to one of the other students and he was like, you're overdoing it. You always don't think before this, da 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 da. And she was like, failure is the mother of invention or something like that. And said, Thomas Edison said that or something. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, it's been a minute since, about, since I've been in school, so I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't really know. But, um, <laughs> So like it's Hatsumi and she is on top of Midori. First thing Uraka notices is that her lady parts, <laughs> the front lady parts, are like in like like almost just like pretty much like right here to Midori. He notices it too, because he kinda like freaks out a little bit. <laughs> so like everything gets up, they get up, they you know. Hashima, Hash, Hashima, I keep, I, I can't say her name. I hate these names sometimes. But she's like, you know, sorry about that. I don't remember any of you. <laughs> that's like the funniest thing to me because she's so focused on her inventions that she will like push knowledge of other people out just to keep ideas of her inventions in. So like, you know, either pretty much he's like, how can you not remember me? Use me as a billboard pretty much. She was like, oh, okay. All right, and just turn around and walks in. So they go in, they talk, and um, they pretty much tell them what they wanted to do for you know their costumes and everything like that. Midoriya told, uh, I want to think of his name, I want to say his name at least once, but I'm not thinking, I'm pulling the blank. But she told the teacher that pretty much he wants something to like, lessen the impact on the ligaments, on, uh, lessen the impact on the ligaments of his arm since it has damages, like a whole lot of damage to his arm. He was like, yeah, that's doable. And then Hatsumi, thank you. <laughs> Hatsumi was like, oh, I got something for that. And just throws him in like a full body suit of armor and presses the button. And at first everything was cool because it started twisting and it went a whole 180 and like almost killed the door. So then Ida tried to whisper to the teacher. He was like, hey, I need something to uh, calm down my respirators. Ah. The, the engines in his legs and Hashime heard that and put like giant engines on his arm activated now he's like stuck to the ceiling and everything like that and pretty much that got him out of that situation and Ida was like I have them on, I have the engines on my legs not my arms and she's like well I forgot exactly what she said but pretty much she was like it'd be cool if you had them you can't run with your arms or something like that and like, it's weird how they said it, but it clicked on me door. It clicked in me door. His head, pretty much, what All Might had told him about him and what he was doing. He realized that All Might' general way of fighting was through his fists. Like it was a fist fight all the way around. So he was like, he needs to change that. So like, once he gets out of there, he jumps up and was like, Ida, I need you to teach me. And he was like, I don't know what you're talking about, but. Uh, how about we get this stuff done first? So, kind of cuts to, um, I think it cuts back to them training again, because it shows them, you know, working on the quarks, trying to, you know, in, in pretty much increase the usage or increase the strength or the durability or anything like that. One cool quark, 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 thank you. One, one cool quark I actually like Fumikage's Dark Shadow, his new one, even though it's a visceral black body, too long of a name, but it's still dope. Like, it pretty much he gets Dark Shadow to engulf his upper half to make up for his physical weakness, which is dope, which is actually pretty dope in the way you think about it. That's an that's actual special move. So, so it goes, it goes from Fumikage, and All Might shows back up like four days later. And he's talking to Aizawa, and Aizawa's like, "Oh, you're here again?" He's like, "Yeah, pretty much. I'm trying to check on everyone's status and everything like that." 
he was like, yeah, some are making like leaps and like some are like doing like like some are like actually doing decent, while well, other ones are going by leaps and bounds. And like before that though, it was um, Midoriya and the great kid, the great juice kid, whatever you want to call his name. I never think his name. I said it in one video, but um. He was like asking Midoriya like what he got changed in his costume. He was like he got some arm braces and things like that. That way it'd be less impact on his arm. And he was like, so Midoriya, why don't you change your costume? It's kind of boring. And Midoriya has a flashback of his mom getting him that costume. He was like, nah, I'm not changing the base of it too much. And that's when All Might comes in. Aizawa tells him about like the people doing leaps and bounds with the special moves and stuff. Kastu Bakugo doing AP shot, which is armor piercing shot which was dope, like actually pretty dope. I would, I'm hoping he comes up with a way to shoot that faster, like multiple AP shots. So like, when he does the shot, he blasts through like a, like a foot and a half, I wanna say, a hole through a foot and a half brick wall or something like that. And he's like, yeah, I did it, yeah! And he's like, and they're like, yeah, he's, he's making an amazing progress and everything like that, but, like a piece of that wall breaks off and starts falling towards All Might. So Bakugo was like, hey, watch out. As I was trying, you know, come in with the cloth and catch it, then all of a sudden, all you see is like a green lightning colored body just shoot past and it like freezes in the air. It's like it's Midoriya. All Might's like, okay, yeah, he's got this. So he was like, he's smiling. I'm like, yeah, they're just, you know, he's proud of him. But then Midoriya does a smash, but he doesn't do it with his arms, he does it with his legs. And All Might goes from like just regular smiling to like cheesing, he's like, oh yes. <laughs> and like, so like pretty much it goes back to what um, Midoriya was saying in his head where like pretty much All Might basically fights with his fist. So he needed to switch it up. If he can't use his fist, he'll use his legs. So he came up with all for one full cow and shoot style, which is pretty much like, I don't want to say it's like Ido's way of fighting, but it kind of is without the engine in their legs, which is still dope because only someone like Midoriya with all for one could come up with something that's from two people, from two different courts and combine them somewhere. But um, it kind of ends like that with All Might would be like, that's right. And like, cause pretty much that's the, his, what he was trying to tell him without telling him. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of the episode. Outro, I don't really do outros like that. Some of the outros are, some of the outros are just, uh, but yeah, that's the, that's the episode. Um, if you want to discuss these, I will happily discuss these. Um, I'm trying to, I'm probably gonna do a Ant Man and Watch video, even though it's been out for a little while. I'm gonna do a video about that, pretty much how I felt about the movie, things of that nature. Um, I'm trying to think, maybe like another top five, top ten video with somebody coming over. If you want to be a part of this, let me know. I will. If you live, in, if you live near me and you want to be a part of this, let me know. I have no problem. I will meet up with you somewhere. We could do a top five in the park or something like that. It don't matter. I mean, hey. But um, that's the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, leave a comment. Positivity, negativity. It's it's, it's, it's still, still a comment. That's all you gotta do. Just leave it. I take them as they come and go. But stay true. Stay savage. Peace.